Hi there folks, Paul Bars signing in for a very quick tutorial. This is an absolute cracker. How to clone your WordPress websites very quickly, very simply and free. That's the bit that I like. Now, I mean, it's okay. Look, if you want to go and pay a hundred bucks or 50 bucks or whatever, make it slightly easier than this, I guess, five, six minute tutorial I'm about to give you. No problem if that's what you want to do. But I'm going to walk through you now step by step how you can do this using a tool which is called Duplicator. Now this is actually on the WordPress site. All I've done there is a search for Duplicator and I came across this plugin. I downloaded it and I'm now about to install it onto this blog here where I want to be able to very simply clone it. So let's go to our plugin section and add new. From here, I need to move to the upload section because I'm going to upload this from my computer where I've saved it. That's going to take me to here. Press that one, open that one, and now install this particular file. This will take a moment. And of course, we want to activate that plugin. Now you'll see that I'm just pressing pause from time to time on my recorder here because my internet speed is probably different to yours. But we're done. Uh, we've now set that in, activated. Here we go, duplicated just here. I want to manage this first. Let me just move my little window over. This should make things a tad easier. Here we go, and now we're ready. Now, here's how it works very quickly. It creates a package, which I'm going to generate and then download. At the moment, there are no packages there. Um, I already had tested my server. I know it's working fine, ready to create new package. So, if I just have a quick look over here, we have create package. I'm going to do that. It's going to check everything, make sure that everything's going to be working fine. Uncompressed, there we go, it's going to be 58 megabytes, and I need to obviously download this package. So it's just putting it all together for me. That's now done, and what I need to do now is download the package, as well as, here's the download link for the package, download the installer file. So let's start with that. I'll do the installer first, very, very quick. It's just a, a little file. Here we go. I'm just going to save that into there. Done. Just a little PHP file. And then the other one, which is going to be considerably larger. I will do the same. I've just created a new folder there. Bang, drop that into there. That will now start downloading. I will press pause on this video and we will come back once it's done. Okay, that's now done and downloaded. So what I'm going to do is come over to the C panel of the website where I'm going to be putting it. First thing I'll do is just open up the file manager and I'm going to create a, uh, a just a new folder where I'll install this. Obviously, if it was just going to be in the primary section, then that would be enough. So click on New Folder. I'm going to just call it Style. Create this folder. And I need to do two different things. One is I need to come into this particular fo um, fo folder and upload those two files, which I just downloaded. I also need to come back into my cPanel and create a... Um, database. So we'll do that now. Well, let's start the upload very quickly. Here we are. Let's upload these files. Here we go. Browse. There they are. That's the two of them. And I'll upload those. They'll get off and running. As you can see down here, just starting. So while it's doing that, though, come back into my cPanel. And I'm going to come into the MySQL databases section. And in here, I need to create a new database. I'll just call it Style21. There we go. Let's create that database. Now, if you haven't done this before, it's going to seem a bit freaky. You might want to practice somewhere where, uh, you know, you've sort of not going to matter if you hurt something, <laughs> I guess is the best way to explain it. I'm now just going to go back. also want to create a, uh, 
a new user for this database. Okay, too many, so what day before? Style 21, let's make this one Styler. There we go. And we're going to create a password to go with it. I'll just make it a quick and easy one for the moment. Copy that into the right place. We'll use that password. There it is. So check my D because this is my website. Check my demo website. Going to create that user. No need to remember that particular password. Now I want to write this down. Just going to open up a text file. Here we go. Just added that content into there. Come back. Now this is obviously, if it's going a bit fast for you, no problem, you can always just watch it again. What I need to simply do now is I've created a database which WordPress is going to use. I've now created a user which allows WordPress to use it, but I need to add that user to that database. Just like that, okay? That'll now give me a little, yes, we've done this successfully. I need to make sure access to all privileges. Again, I'll copy that information. Throw it in just there. Access all privileges and make those changes. Done. That has all been done. So what I'm going to do now is just simply go back. Once those files have finished uploading, we will come back and I'll show you how to wrap this up. Okay, that's now done and we've uploaded our files. We've got just the two of them, which I can show you down here. I'm now going to close this up. I'm ready to go. I'm just going to open up a new window. Slash and uh, what did I call this one? Style. So as this opens up, you'll see that there's re not really very much in there at the moment. Here we go, the two files that we uploaded, that's it. However, if I click on the install, that's now going to get the installer package ready. Shows me here, this is from the duplicator itself, this is the file that I downloaded and am now re-uploading. This is where it came from, one of my client sites, fantastic site, take a look. And it's going to be installed here, I'm just going to click over here onto get which is where I'm going to put it. So I'll toss it, we'll just call it Chic Styling Copy. And of course you want to delete the package and so on once this is done. I'll do all those later, but just to show you. Now, here's where we have to set up the database. Remember, I copied this information over. Here's the name of the database. Local host. 99 times out of 100, that's going to be the host for it, how it's actually done from a technical standpoint. Here's the user which I created. And of course the password. So we copy those in, which is why we do it. And now test this connection. Let's just see if all of that works. Bingo! Ready to go! Validation successful. Close that. Continue with installation. Here we go. I've read all of that. I actually haven't, but I know it's not negotiable. <laughs> so there's no point in reading it. I think it just says if you screw up, it's your fault. Oh, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to press the install button down here. It's going to do all these things for me. Uh, actually, one thing I did just miss very quickly. Here we go. Um, allow um, database creation. Allow table removal. This is tables within the existing database. Now that database is brand spanking new, so um, you know there'll be some tables, but it's going to get rid of those tables and it's going to create its own. So always want to have that one checked as well. And install. This may take a few minutes. It says. Let's see how we go. Wow. Okay, that was quicker than the last time I did it. I guess it all depends on what you're transferring and what's done. So, everything's done. Check, 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 check. Important final steps. We want to uh, resave the permalinks. 
and we want to then validate that the rest of the site is obviously there as well. So just quickly, this will open up now the permalinks. First thing it's going to do is ask me to log in. This is the same login that I was using on the original site. Brings me to here. Yep, that's fine. That's the way I like the permalinks in this custom structure. Doesn't matter whether you have it like that or have it like that. No matter either way. So that's all good and fine. The last thing, if I come back here, is take a look and make sure that everything has worked. Sweet. I can see that it has. And here we have that entire website has now been cloned beautiful and that's exactly what I was looking for and that hasn't taken all too long at all has it terrific now I guess the uh, the last thing that you want to do before you move away from that of course is just come back to your file manager and if nothing else make sure you do delete that install file just there that's it absolutely fantastic quick simple and easy that's it, WordPress Duplicator. It's a free plugin which can be found on wordpress.org. Talk to you soon. This is Paul Bars from paulbars.com signing off. Bye bye.